Hey everyone on YouTube, my name is Markers and today is going to be another short video on the optimal settings for OBS for people either streaming on Twitch or making YouTube content. So before I get started, uh, there is one caveat. Um, video recording is a CPU heavy process. Depending on your CPU, you might need to um, you know, turn tone things down a bit. Um, it's recommended you have at least an i5 to stream on Twitch. If you have the money, I recommend getting an i7 processor so that you're able to stream better, upload um, your videos faster, do stuff like that. It just makes things a lot easier. But with that uh, being said, let's go into the settings. Uh, general, you'll typically not have to touch this. So you just put your streaming language. Encoding, um, for Twitch, the max bitrate is 2000. And um, that's for a non-partner streamer. For a partner streamer, the max bitrate is 3500. Um, max bitrate is basically just how grainy your video is going to look. Obviously, the higher it is, the better it's going to look. Um, the minimum I would say you should use is 1000. It really depends um, on your uh, internet connection and your CPU. For bitrate, um, the max on Twitch is 160, so put it on 160. Uh, for YouTube content, uh, put it on 320. Uh, this just makes your audio sound a lot more good, I guess. <laughs> um, you know that, and of course having a better microphone. <laughs> so broadcast settings. Um, if you're going to be live streaming, put it on live stream. File output only is if you're recording a YouTube video. Uh, here you can put your streaming service. And then um, here you have your um, where you're streaming to. So I live in Texas. The closest one is Central Dallas, Texas. So I'll just try and put it to um, the closest location you can. Uh, path key, this is basically the password to stream to your specific channel. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So say you're on the main Twitch page, you go to dashboard, you hit stream key, and then it's you click show key. It's going to tell you yeah, it's going to give you a second warning, uh, just, you know, for in case you're streaming so that you don't show you off your uh, stream key. It's going to show you your stream key. We're going to copy and paste it into the URL. You're going to copy and paste it into the URL and then you will be able to stream to your channel. Um, file path, this is just where your uh, videos are going to be recorded to video so just make sure it's you know uh make sure the video adapter is on your graphics card um i'm not sure whether or not it can be on integrated graphics but if it is on integrated graphics make sure it's not uh base resolution for streaming 720p is going to be it's going to be good enough this is basically you, you want to use 720p for streaming so that People on um, cellular devices are able to also watch the stream. Uh, this is obviously so that you can grow a better viewer base because if someone's not able to watch a stream, they're not going to stay for long. They're not going to wait for it to buffer. So it's best to have something everybody can mutually watch at a, you know, at a decent rate, I guess. Um, 720p is okay. Um, if you're doing YouTube content, uh, do 1920 by 1080p. Um, yeah, I'm not going to save that though. Nope. <laughs> Cause I mainly stream, um, for audio, make sure it's, um, has your desktop audio, uh, for the microphone, make sure it has the microphone you're using and not the webcam microphone, um, <laughs> cause I know for a while, uh, on streaming, I actually did use my webcam microphone. So just make sure it's on your, um, 
uh, your headset microphone or your dedicated microphone, assuming you have a dedicated microphone. Uh, there's hotkeys next. Um, this is actually pretty useful for those of you who um, may or may not need a hotkey. This is basically just um, so you don't have to go to your OBS to stop a stream, to stop recording, stuff like that. Not gonna go through advanced or any of that. Uh, microphone noise gate. So basically what this is, is that you see the green thing. Every time I talk, it goes up. But when I stop talking, it'll stay at a constant, okay? I'm gonna be quiet for a second so you can see it. That's basically the background noise of the room. Um, you, wanna you wanna make sure the noise gate is above the background noise of the room so that um, you're not you know, having static in the stream. If you have a loud keyboard, it's recommended you also put your uh, noise gate up. Um, so yeah, and scene switcher. This is for all the hotkeys you use. Um, or not for the hotkeys, for all the scenes you have. Um, I really don't use this, but um, this could be useful uh, just for your scenes. So, yeah. <laughs> um, that's it for the settings, guys. Um, if you like the video, um, I guess you can leave a like. Um, if you think there's anything I missed, you can leave it in the comments. I'll, um, I'll address it. So, um, thanks guys for watching. And that is the video.